Hi, this is Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. This is Battle on Empire's border map, and we're following Fury from King's Clan in his M60 tier 10 uh, medium tank. Uh, this was a Clan Wars reward tank when it was originally uh, offered, uh, and it only recently came into the Bond shop, so you can basically obtain this for Bonds. Um, so this looks very similar to the um, M48s, uh, patterns, etc. So it's yeah, got similar characteristics. Um, pretty fast tank, as you can see. It's got a top speed of um, nearly 60 k's an hour. And Fury's moving to the spot. Uh, let's increase the minimap size. Um, where basically you need to take control of. This has um, got the gateway to the um, east side of the map and also yeah, direct lines to the um, enemy base. So uh, coming here, uh, if you've got a tank with a good gun depression, um, let's do what Fury does, get to the left side here, because then as you poke, you're not getting exposed to tank destroyers that hang out at the um, uh, gate gateway there. Uh, so as he comes up, now he's getting side shots also, as he's put a hit on the um, T110E5, the uh, US heavy tank from tier 10. Um, he's firing um, heat rounds, but yep, not un unnormal for um, for this tier. And if you're in tier 10, you shouldn't expect to not get uh, premium rounds fired at you. So, uh, but he's put three shots in, um, one after the other, and taking this uh, E5 down. And look, there's another. It, E5 just couldn't deal with having shots coming from new directions. So that's one value of being on the left side of the map while your uh, teammates are on the um, Sorry, the other side of this area. So now he's also spotted this uh, T110E4. As I said, um, yeah, it's not uncommon for tank destroyers. Um, there's a T30 spotted as well. So uh, you don't really want to push off here. Uh, there's a small battle going down on the lower level here. Uh, basically, T5041 on the enemy side. It's going to get taken out. There's plenty of um, tanks there to overwhelm that area. So Fury's looking at his options, but it's basically. Uh, going to come through this gateway here and see if you can push the pace on what's going on there. It's going to be a pretty um, furious pace here, just not to make a pun on Fury's name, but um, yeah, it's, it's going, going to be all over uh, fairly quickly. So let's just see what transpires here. Uh, he's already put a hit on the T-54 lightweight there on the enemy side. Um, let's go to T-50 up there as well. We're all trying to basically uh, take hits on here, uh, but um, Fury's basically yeah, using his gun in his position to um, to try and dominate the play here. So two cave damage already that was done on the E5. He's found a leopard uh, there, thin skin. Uh, it's not going to change his ammo type, I don't think. Just not really worth it um, in this area there. Gets a massive ammo rack on the leopard PTA. Uh, 970 damage there. Just uh, absolutely creamed him. So now he's got uh, naive phase one that we saw just uh, recently. Uh, on the channel, uh, the tier 9 uh, reward tank. Uh, but he's not having any trouble with uh, the gun here. Going through there, he's just tracked the 907 that's there as well. Now the 907's got a pretty fast firing gun, so you don't want to sit out in front of it. You can fire basically every five seconds. Uh, puts a big hit in on the, on the AE phase one, and that tank goes down to um, the Waffentrager Alf Panzer IV being driven by Greta from King's Clan as well. So he's, here he's bullying the 907. 907 was set on fire, which sort of indicates that he was running food in place of a fire extinguisher. Not necessarily a good move. Um, 90s can basically catch fire. So Fury's doing the right thing here, pushing Greta as fast as he can to the enemy cap. Uh, see if they can basically take out the tanks there, which is largely the um, artillery in the first mention, uh, who managed to get a hit in. So they're just basically being a bit cautious here, but also try and basically get the um, the rear of the uh, enemy tank destroyers that are out facing the, the other way. Um, now they're well up here, the 10 tanks in front, it's a pretty foregone conclusion what the map is going to be, um, but here trying to do as much damage as possible. So Fury's just under 6k of damage here, uh, a little bit of assisted. Um, it's been spotted by this uh, Jagdpanzer E100, and it's just basically trying to uh, work out when he fires his gun to see if we can make his move now. Basically, it's taking a risk going past there, gets a shot on the front, and now there's two tanks circling him, and uh, see if he can just basically punish the Jagdpanzer and get as much damage out of him as possible. 
basically in this situation he's really not going to escape and there he goes and uh, friendly artillery puts a hit on him and tries to get out of out of the way but uh, the last tank it looks like is that T30 that's an interesting hiding spot there I don't think I would uh, uh, have figured out that was a place to put a tank and he's just trying to line up but unless the um, E4 gets the T30 and that's the end of the battle so the results of that battle uh, was a first class mastery badge he uh, got the um, high caliber award for the most damage and also the Spartan award for um, surviving number of hits uh, with uh, low hit points uh, 113,000 credits and a decent amount of experience so all based on the um, times five uh, going on at the moment so 6.7 K of damage and 1103 base experience just missed out on the ASI I would think uh, in that tank uh, but given uh, most of the McLaren Wars rewards tanks this might have a slightly higher base for the um, ace tanker uh, Best on his team after that was the Leopard 1 uh, with 3.3k damage and Greta didn't quite uh, score enough to really get a big focus there but I think the pace of the battle probably outran a lot of the players. So a uh, firing or premium there, um, 18 rounds shot and 14 rounds penetrated but all hit so good accuracy there. Uh, lost 27,000 credits but uh, not a big deal in this game of things. Well done Fury, great game.